G'day guys and girls, and it's John Michalidis here from MyExcelOnline.com with another awesome video. Now, today we're gonna to talk about the new formulas that were introduced in Excel for Office 365. If you don't know what Excel version you have, then click on the link above and it'll take you to our video tutorial which explains to you how to find out what Excel version that you have. There were six brand new formulas that were introduced for Excel for Office 365 and these are the filter, rand array, sequence, sort, sort by and unique. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, you may need to enable the Insider program within your Excel version so you can have access to these brand new formulas. In the description below, we explain how to activate this Insider program so you can view these formulas. Now, before we get into it, if you have any questions about these new Excel formulas, then write about it in the comments area and we'll be more than happy to help you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more of these awesome new Excel videos. And wait until the end of this video for something special that's gonna help you get better at Excel formulas. Now let's get into it. Filter is a new function introduced in Office 365 in September 2018. So if you have a subscription of Office 365, then you are going to be able to use this. If you have Excel 2019 or Pro versions, then this is not included. So this is a great new function. It filters a table array based on a filtering condition. So you don't have to use the previous control, shift and enter to create this array formula. It is very, very easy to use. It is a modern array formula and it's going to be awesome. So let's put it in here. Let's put equals filter. Now the first argument is the array. So this is where our values are located. So highlight all that and you don't have to include the headers. Let's press the comma and include. So in here, we can put in our filter. So we wanna know John's values. We wanna show just John's values. So let's put in the criteria where John's located. It's under salesperson, let's highlight all that. And equals John. Instead of typing it in, we're gonna reference this cell here. And then we're just gonna close the parentheses. So you can see here, it just shows John's values, which is great. So let's put in there, Brian. There you go. So all of Brian's value are, are taken from all this array here and then filtered out and just shown in here. And let's do Esther and Kyle. As you can see there, this is a great new function in Office 365 and it makes your analysis much easier and also if you have some dashboards you want to create this is a super cool function to use now let's put in there another name let's put in there amy we get a calc error okay so we need to fix this now let's press f2 to bring our formula in there it says if empty so if there are no values if you can't match anything then what should we return we can put anything you can put a blank or we can actually put in there, no values. Okay, so once again, let's go back to Kyle. And we can see that, let's put in another, let's put any name like this, no values. Okay, control Z, go back to Kyle and all of Kyle's values are shown there. The random array function is a new function in Office 365 and introduced in September of 2018. So if you have the perpetual licenses for Excel 2019 or 2016 or earlier, you're not gonna have this. So only if you have the Office 365 subscription, you will see this now. Obviously in future releases of perpetual licenses, for example, 2021 Excel, then they will include this, but at the moment, is not available. So let's have a look at this. Now, 
if you want to create random numbers, you can use the range between function. So let's highlight an area there and press equals range between. And the bottom value, let's put a one, the top 10, and then press control and enter. So this gives us a few random values. And if we press F9, it just changes those values. So it's a pretty cool tip. But this rand array function makes it much easier. Let's go for it. Rand array. Let's choose that. So rows, how many rows down do we want to go? Let's say we want to go down 10 rows and just close that. So it gives us 10 rows of values. Once again, if I press F9, it changes those values. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And you can see that if I press F2, let's put in two columns, the next argument. So it gives us two columns of values. Press F9 and those values change. Let's go in here again and press F2. And the other argument is minimum. So what's the minimum value that we want to show? Say we want to put in a number one. And the maximum, let's have it at a hundred. Now the next argument is, do you want to show decimals or do you want to show whole numbers? Let's show decimals for now and press enter. And you can see we have random values between one and a hundred shown as decimal. Now, if I go back in here and press F2, let's make this an integer. There you go. Once again, F9 and it keeps on changing it. So a much easier way to create random numbers that you want to use if you want to create some graphs or anything. Another tip, if you want to lock these values in, highlight it, right click on the border, drag it out, drag it back in, let go of the right click, copy here as values only. There you have it. The formula's gone and you have those values there. So a uh, great new function for you to enjoy within Excel. Sequence is a new function introduced in Office 365 in September 2018. Now, Sequence is great. It creates an array of sequential numbers that you can use to create some graphs or do some analysis. So I will show you how you can easily do this. Now, type in Sequence and rows. So how many rows do you want of data? Let's put in 10 for now. And you see, it gives us 10 rows of data. Let's press F2 and columns. How many columns do we want to go? Let's go three columns right. And you can see it's got between one, two, three, all the way to 30. So sequentially, it increases the numbers. If we press F9, like we did with that rand array function earlier, then it doesn't change the numbers. Let's go back in our cell here and double click in there and start. Let's start at number, say 10. And let's increase it. The step means let's increase it by 100 and press enter. So there you go. The first number is 10, then it increases by 100 and all the way there. So you can see that if you want to create some quick numbers that you want to use to do some analysis, then the sequence function is for you. The sort function is a new function introduced in Office 365, and it is a beauty. Okay, now let's say that we have a salesperson over here on our table and our quarter and our sales results for each salesperson. We can actually sort this using a modern array formula. So let's get into this. Let's put in equals sort the array. Let's get all our values. Press comma. The sort index is which column do we want to sort by? Salesperson, quarters, or sales? Well, we want to sort by sales. I want to know the highest to lowest sales and vice versa. So put in number three because that's the third column. And the next argument is whether we want to sort in ascending order, which is a number one, or a descending order, which is minus one. We want to show by ascending order. So click on that. And then the by column there is if you want to sort by left to right, it's more advanced sort and a lot of people are not going to use that. So let's ignore that for now. Close the parenthesis and press enter. 
And as you can see, it's sorted the sales from lowest to highest. How cool is that? Now, let's say that we change a value here for Kyle. Let's put in number one, for example. You see that? It's a live change. So if we make another change there for Esther, put in 50, you see it's a live change. This is great um, if you're creating live interactive dashboards. This is beautiful to use. So the sort function, I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun with this one here. Sort by is a new formula introduced in Office 365, and it is an extension of the sort formula which we talked about earlier. But with sort by, you can actually use two or more conditions to sort by, which is just amazing. So what we have here is the salesperson, the quarter and the sales that they've made. Let's put in here the sort by. And first let's select our array. The next condition is which array do we want to sort by? So let's first sort by the quarter. So let's sort by the quarter. So we have to select the whole array and we don't have to put F4 to lock this in. That's the beauty about these new modern array formulas in Excel. Now we want to show a sending order. So put in number one. Next, we want to sort by the sales. So let's highlight the sales all the way there. And then let's sort by descending order. So minus one and close parenthesis. We can put in more criteria, but let's just keep it to two for now. So let's have a look there. Look, quarter one, that's our first sort, which was from smaller to bigger, you can see there, and then the sales from biggest to lowest. You can see there, quarter two from biggest all the way to the lowest value and so on. So this is great. This is awesome. A great new function introduced in Excel. You can only get it in Office 365, Excel 2019 and before, you don't have that available when Excel 2021 becomes available as a perpetual license, then you will have this available. So I suggest you get Office 365 subscription license. It is amazing because you get all these new functions and new features introduced every couple of months. The unique formula is a new function introduced in Office 365. And what it does is it gets the unique values from a array or a list. So if you have duplicate values, it will get rid of the duplicate values and only show you the unique values. Now, in here we have our names and let's put in the unique formula. And the first argument is array. So we need to highlight the array. The second argument is whether we want to compare by columns or rows. Now we want to compare by rows going down. So let's select that. And the next argument is whether we want to show values that are shown only once or one or more times. Now, if we want to show values that appear once, we just click on the true, close brackets, and we can see that John and Kyle only appear once in this list. Now, this may be helpful for your analysis, but if you want to show just the unique value, so it takes away all the duplicates, then we need to change the last argument from true to false. So one or more times. So it's going to include all unique values, as you can see the explanation there. Press enter. And you can see John, Brian, Carl and Esther are the only unique names in this list. So a great new formula introduced in Office 365, and I'm sure you're gonna get lots of value from it. G'day guys and girls, John Michaludis here from myexcelonline.com, and I'm just sending you just a quick update, just to let you know that for this week only, we are having a sale, which means that you're gonna get a most sold ebook. It's called the 101 Most Popular Excel Formulas. You get it for only $19, so that's $10 off. 
during this week only and you can have a look at this book here when you click in the description or the link that we're going to give you now it goes directly into this page and you can quickly have a look at what is included and how it is set out now what i'm going to do is just go inside the ebook just to show you the different formulas that we are going to include in this ebook okay so we're here in the table of contents just quickly we go through different formula tips just to get you started with Excel formulas so you can understand the different ways you can use it and some awesome tips that's going to save you lots of time. Then we'll go into the different lookup functions and you can see them all there. We've got the most popular lookup functions like VLOOKUP, INDEX, MATCH. Then we'll go on to the logical functions which includes IF and the IF error or the OR. Then over to the different math functions, which I'm sure that you use every day. We've got some if, some if, some product, how to count. Statistical functions, we go over the large, the max, the median, the minimum, and the small. Text functions, they're all over there. I'm not going to go through every one of them, but you can quickly have a look there. We also go through the date and time functions that you can see directly here awesome functions when you're working with dates then we'll go to various information functions there we have a couple of other small functions and then we'll go on to excel 2019 functions here we've got the new excel 2019 functions that were introduced last year you can have a look there and you can use them straight away the new office 365 functions as well and also we give you some advanced formulas. These are bonus formulas that we've included in there. So all you gotta do is just click in the description. It will take you to the sales page and you can quickly have a look at the table of contents and everything that's included in there. And only for this week, it's $10 off. So click the button, purchase this awesome ebook and become better at Excel so you can stand out from the crowd and get the promotions and pay rises that you deserve.